What's up, Powerbooks? My name is Jason, and today we're going to open up two Elite Trainer boxes of Temporal Forces. We got both of them. Let's get into it. How's it going, everybody? Hope you guys are having a great day today. If not, I hope this video could help cheer you up just a little bit. Today we have... Two Elite Trainer Boxes of Temporal Forces. We have the Iron Leafs and we have the Walking Wake Elite Trainer Boxes. Now, I think they're going to be doing this for every set, except what did they didn't do it for? Paldean Evolved, Paldean Evolved, and Obsidian Flames. Right, was there another one? I don't know, but they seem to be having two different Elite Trainer Boxes, each with their own uh, Pokemon on it and a different promo. So it seems like that's going to be going on from now. I mean, they've done it for... Scarlet and Violet, um, Temporal Forces, and what was the last one? Why can't I remember the last one? I don't remember the last one, but they did it for the last one as well. Why can't I remember it? Obsidian Flames, then after Obsidian Flames. Well, okay. Well, they've been doing two from now on, so we could expect that. Each one is going to come with the same thing, except for a different promo. So, in the Walking Wake one, we're going to have a Flutter Main, which is pretty cool. I mean, it does make sense for this. You have the Ancient and Future, which they just did that one. Ancient and Future, they had uh, Iron Bundle and Screamtail. So, oh, was, which one was that one called? Why can't I remember it? Oh, well. And then in this one, we're going to have Iron Thorns. So, Flutter Main, Iron Thorns, everything in Future is Iron first. So, we have Iron Leaves and Walking Wake. So, before we get into this, if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, or hit the dislike button if you don't, let me know down below what you think of the two Elite Trainer Boxes, every set. Do you like it? Do you like the variety to it? Or would you rather just have one Elite Trainer Box with everything in it, and uh, the one Pro Bowl? So, let me know how you feel about this. I mean, it's, it's, it's alright. Pretty cool. I guess. But yeah. Where are my scissors? Let's go ahead and get into these boxes. We're gonna open up. Let's do Walking Wake first. I do like the ancient Pokemon better than the future Pokemon. So go ahead. Grab that. Toss that. Get rid of that. And I haven't really seen, actually, the whole set of the Temporal Forces. So let's see, what do we have in here? The main ones for the illustration rares. Actually, this set's a lot smaller, so it's less than 360 Pokemon cards. I think it's 358 total if you're trying to do the Master Set. So that's uh, the commons, the reverse rares, and then you have the rares, which I think the A-Spec ones don't have reverses, so that makes it easier to fit into a normal binder. But Shift Tree is pretty cool. We also have uh, Grotto, uh, Deerling, Sazbuck, Litten, Snom. I'm trying to think. Reuniclus looks pretty nice. I think that one's pretty cool. Extra Joe Relicanth is pretty much just like a basic Pokemon card. That really looks like the Ancient Trait Pokemon card from Primal Clash, uh, Ancient Origins, things like that. It it there's like nothing really crazy about it. Um, Arbok, actually, I do like that one. Let me see it. That's pretty cool. I do like it through the leaves and everything. Do you like Ghastly? Um, other ones, I guess that's really it. So the ones I'm really gonna probably be after is the Arbok. I like the Reuniclus, Ghastly is cool, and the Metagross. That's probably it for me. And then for the special illustration rares, I mean, Walking Wake's pretty cool. Uh, Iron Growth, Iron Boulder, Iron Leaves, not really much of a fan of those. They're, they're okay. Um, Raging Bolt looks pretty cool. Did get Morty's Conviction. Eerie's nice. I think... That's it, honestly. There's not much that I'm really after in the set. Well, like the Gengar full art, just because it's Gengar. Scizor 2. That one should be at all expensive. But all right, let's go ahead and get into the box. Oh, the promo was stuck in here. Fell out. Toss that. Grab our packs. So these are the card dividers. And then the dice aren't really anything to speak about. Here's the code for this. Toss that. And the sleeves. They're gold this time around. Okay. So, probably not going to get many Elite Trainer Boxes. We'll see how this one goes. 
Usually I do like Elite Trainer boxes. I think it's good value. But here's the Fluttermane in a beat up sleeve. So pretty sweet there. Nice promo. All right. So let's push this one off to the side. And let's see what we get in our first nine packs. Starting off with Raging Bolt. I have now learned their names. The ancient Pokemon are harder to learn because they have actual names. Different things in them. But with Total Dial, nice. Deerling. Put this off over here. Heat of, or down here. Yeah, right there. Pineco, Sableye, Iron Valiant, Rescue Board. It's probably gonna be one of the better cards to get. It's a really good playable card. We have a Toro Cat and a Solosis. Starting off with a Hollow of Iron Valiant. Line Energy and Code. So boom and boom. All right, Iron Leaves, which is the next Elite Trainer Box. Let's see what we have in this one. Start off with a Charger Bug. Slugma, Solosis, Skitty, Lycan Rock, Delcaddy, Energy Boost, or Future Energy Boost, fu Future Booster Energy Capsule, Melmetal Reverse, and no illustration rare. We have a Chat Tot with a Coridon Hollow. So far, nothing in this box. What, nine packs, usually you get one full art, one double possible illustration rare from an Elite Trainer box. Usually on average, at least that's what it's been for me. So we'll see. Turtwig, Poochiana, Wiglet, Melton, Iron Treads, Buddy Buddy Popton, Lycanroc, Mightyana, Poochiana Reverse, my apologies. Mr. Mime Reverse and a Iron Valiant. Okay, three packs in and duds. Cool. So in the next video or the next Temporal Forces opening, we probably would do the booster bundles. Uh, I think they did the boxes differently. It looks like a more flatter or not like a regular box that we or like we're used to seeing, like a deck box kind of a thing. It just looks like a flat box. It'll be easier, more, it'll be better if I just show you. I don't have it with me. But once we do open it, you'll see the difference. For Bombi, Metagross Reverse, and Golurk. And our first double rare is Iron Boulder. Nice. Do not have that one. He has a Saturn around his hand. Okay. So that is our first hit. One double rare. Uh, let's see. We have four, five packs remaining. Yeah. It's only four packs. Wow. All right, next one. C dot, Totodile, Deerling, P Dove, Del Caddy, Future Booster Energy Capsule. Got it right that time. Iron Hands, and Awakening Drum. Nice. I'll take a a spec card. These are actually very uh, very good, very valuable. You only have I think one per deck. Right, you can't have more than one a spec. Yeah, we can. <laughs> says right there. You have, only have one of these in your uh, in your deck, but really good. Draw a card for each of your ancient Pokemon in play. Not bad. And not a double. No illustration rare there. But Matang and a Melmetal Hollow. So that's actually really good. Haven't pulled that one yet. I've only pulled two, which is uh, what is that? the cape and I think the belt. So there's seven of them. Need four more. And I'm done with those. I think the most expensive one is like uh, the Pokemon Catcher one. I forgot what it's called. I think it's like Prime Catcher or something like that. Pikachu. Scyther. Sizzlepeed. Hand Trimmer. Rabska. Iron Jugglers. And we have a Slugma with a Delmai. So it'll be interesting to see how these perform in the Elite Trainer boxes. Bramble Gas and a Fire Energy. Cool. Three packs remaining. We have two hits. At least looking for one more. Let us see. We have a Panko. We have a Mawile. Metatite. Turtonator. Heavy Baton. Mist Energy. Sandy Shocks. Shaman Reverse. And Illustration Rare. 178 and 162. That looks like a Metagross one. Let's see. Actually, let's go from the top. It is still... It's the Metagross, nice, I'll take that one. Actually one of the ones I wanted. So Metagross, 
beautiful illustration rare, and Iron Thorns Hollow. Is the Metagross one one of the top ones to get for illustration rares? No, actually the Sinchino is. That is insane. Sinchino. As of right now, it's release week, so it might fluctuate. All right, pack pen the pen ultimate pack for this box. We have a Torcat, Grubbin, Frostmoth, Noctile, Rapidash, Bolton, Muzdale, Totodile, beautiful, and Matang with a Hollow Flutter Main. Lightning Energy and Code. Final pack for this Walking Wake Elite Trainer Box. We have a Matang, Karkle, Grotto, Fenizen, Fortress. We have a Vigavolt, Latias, Drillbird Reverse, and Chat Top Reverse with a Drampa. So three hits, usually what I expect from one of these. Um, didn't get, I wasn't say we didn't get a full art, but we get double rare. We have the A spec card and an illustration rare Metagross. Fully what I what I think you're probably gonna get is what the average is gonna be for these boxes. But we have one more, so let's see if that is true. Right. Get this one open. Toss that. Toss that. Let's see, nothing in there. All empty in there. And then for our promo, it is Iron Thorns, which actually I think this is an awesome promo. I like it more than the Fluttermane one. So pretty cool there. And we have our nine packs, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine packs. Here are what the dividers look like. That actually kind of looks better than the walking wake. And our sleeves. Not a big fan of these, but they're silver. So I can use those and code for those of you who want the Elite Trainer Box bundle, I guess. So yeah, probably not going to get many more Elite Trainer Boxes of this set. Maybe Iron Leaves I might get more of. Um, mainly for, you know, the Iron Thorns. That's a pretty cool card. I do like the promo for that one. So we'll see. But for the most part, I think I'm going to stick to either booster bundles or booster packs. We'll see. Booster pack. Excuse me. Hiccup. Booster boxes. All right. Talking is hard. Uh, Mawile. We have a Metatite. Turtonator. Pootoot. Perilous Jungle. Unpheasant. Let me move these over. And there. Sensor Scorch. Azumarill Reverse. Behem Reverse. And... A Mel Metal Hollow. Fire Energy. Oh, and the code. Boom. Next pack. Again, expecting the same kind of correlation with this. Uh, we're going to get a double rare, maybe another A spec card or full art, and we're going to get an illustration rare. Hopefully, we do. Hopefully, we get more illustration rares. A special illustration one at that. And we start off with the Noctowl. And a, <laughs> and a ghastly illustration rare. Wow, I'm getting all the illustration rares that I want. Ghastly, Metagross. I think the only one that I do want left is... I'm trying to think. What was that last one? The Arbok. The Arbok's probably the only one I want left. And that one should be fairly cheap. So, nice. Ghastly illustration rare. I'll take that. Whimsicott. Hello. Lightning Energy and Coat. So, doing pretty well here with Temporal Forces. Honestly, just need to pull the big uh, special illustration rares, which uh, Iron Crown is the most expensive one right now. And then it's Iron Raging Bolt and Iron Leaves. Raging Bolt is probably the one I want the most. And Walking Wake. I think that was a pretty good Pokemon. Puchiana, Metagem, and Fluttermane Hollow. Boom. Yeah, just getting started here. We have, what, six more packs after this? Five more packs after this. Hanser with Beautiful Shadows. Pikachu. Ghastly. Elgin. Sinchino. Sableye. Great Tusk. Golit Reverse. Hoot Hoot. And 
Roaring Moon. Grass Energy. Cool. Alright, pack number five. Yes. Let's see what we got here. We have a Yamper, Toracat, Grubbin, Frostmoth, Boxed Order, Screamtail, Sableye, Iron Thorns Reverse. Nice, I'll take that one. And Grotto with a Iron Valiant. So far, just one illustration rare. I mean, I'll take it. It's one of the better ones. But I uh, would like another hit, please. We have a Sizzlipede, Meryl, Colet, Dunsparce, Morty's Conviction, Shiftry, Bianca's Devotion, Snom Reverse, and. Kind of hoping for another. Oh, oh, we got a full art. 188 of 162. Hmm. Is it fire? It is. Is this gouging flames? Not a gouging fire, I mean. Nice! We have a full art. Pretty much for what? Like a little bit less than what a booster box go for. This is half a booster box right here. Um, 18 packs. Booster boxes are 36. And we have a nice little spread. Fighting energy and coat. So we got one double rare, two illustration rares, one ace pack card, and one full art. It's actually not bad. So on average, it's like seven hits in like one side of a booster box, 18. So half a booster box, you should expect seven hits. We have knocked out. Let's see if we can hit seven here. We have five. Just need uh, two more hits. It is possible. Brevumbi, Turtonator, Solosis, and... A Dunnan Sparse. Coat. Two packs left. What do we have in this one? We got a Snow. Mudbray. Mincino. Rockruff. Reuniclus. Explorer's Guidance. Latias. Nuzleaf. I think we do have something here. It might be just a double rare. We have Nuzleaf. Chatot. And. It is a double rare. Iron Crown. I will take that. That is one I do not have. I mean, I just started opening this and, uh, yeah. Coming away with some nice ones for the set. Code. So we got six here. Need one more. One more hit. We got half of a booster box. All right, let's see. We have a Kartko, Grotto, Fenizen, Bronzor, Hand Trimmer. Rabska, Iron Jugulus. I don't know why I made that accent, but we have a Giraffe Rig and Latias with mm, a Feraligator Hollow. So it looks like three is the average hit you're going to get in a Elite Trainer Box. And it ranges. You get a double rare guaranteed, pretty much. It looks like an illustration rare, and then it's a texture card, one of a special card. So not bad. Out of 18 packs, I'm not complaining at all. Thought this was pretty good. Got two full arts, or two full, two illustration rares. Two of them that I were looking for, Metal Girls and Ghastly. Honestly, I just need one more Arbok, and that's pretty much it. Um, then I just got to hit them, like, the Chinchino, the Mincino one. Those should be good. Got the Awakening Drums, which isn't the best one. Uh, the Maximum Belts are, it's called the Prime Catcher. I was right. Prime Catcher is the best one. Wow, that thing is $30 right now. But dang, okay. But yeah, this was one of the lower ones, but still very good. Two double rares two illustration rares and then yeah that is what we got from each box pretty good if i do say so myself but that's gonna do it hopefully you enjoyed if you did hit the like button subscribe to catch more and until next time perhaps have yourself a great day stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video bye